All right, everyone, welcome back. Uh, today we're going to undercoat Bryson's pickup truck. Uh, this is his 2016 F-150. It's in really good shape, super clean, but the winter is not nice here on Cape Cod. So with all the salt that they dump in the calcium chloride stuff that they dump on the roads, I don't know what they call it. They just call it ice band stuff, whatever. Basically, it's just chemicals, and it's highly corrosive. So today, we have other stuff to do, but I booked an appointment, kind of, at my buddy's shop. My buddy Nick, we're going to go to his shop, and we're going to use a hot pressure washer to wash the bottom of the truck. Then I got this wool wax, and I bought, I may have bought, like, too much, you know, because... I don't know, I bought it off of Amazon and it was either, it was one of those deals where like buy, you know, buy one with the gun or buy like a bunch with the gun. So I just opted to buy a bunch. And then they give you these spray tips with holes in them that hooks on to the end of the gun. Uh, there's that one and then there's this one that sprays out of the side. And what you do with these is you stick them basically in the holes of your frame like that and you do the inside of the cross members and everything uh and then stick it i don't know if you can see you stick the tube in here and get all inside it because this is a boxed you know tube frame so i wanted to make sure we had enough so i just went ahead and just um it had options for you know multiple of these I don't know, let's call it a jar. It's plastic, but let's just call it a jar because it looks like one. So I got uh, two, four, six, eight. So I got eight of them. Um, I did talk to his mechanic and he said that the lift is open today. Um, so he texted me yesterday and said, hey, I got nothing going on that lift if you want to use it tomorrow. So we're going to go over there. And the other thing is we're going to change his oil first. So I'll uh, see you there. hot pressure washer so what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to just go in the holes and uh, blast all the dirt and crud out of the holes um, so <laughs> That is such a shitty design. It shoots out sideways. Like instead of being drain plugged down, it shoots out from the side. So that's a terrible design Ford. The Chevy guys are all gonna be in the comments making making comments. Yeah, I knew that was gonna happen as soon as I saw the plug come out. Um I don't know. I didn't think it would shoot out that far. I mean, holy crap. Anyway. Oh, no. I, I figured that's what was going to happen. Alright, so he got covered in oil. Yeah, I had a little stupid moment with the oil. The, um... That's a bad design. It comes out of the, um... I was holding the pan right here up real high. And it shot completely sideways out that way went clean clear over the pan and shot me in the face so note to self next time i do that i'm gonna have to hold the pan on it like that up in there on an angle first and then as it starts to come down tip the pan or uh do something different but we gotta heat this stuff up it says on it 
throw it in front of a floor heater or something. I got a pan of hot water though. Yeah, because it says that it's it's made to spray thick, but if it's cold or if it's been cold, <clears throat> then you gotta warm it up a bit. I might put some more hot water in it. Yeah, I'm just keep turning it. He does have guys working here, so I will probably have to yell because they are they are still out there pressure washing. That's the new one, I guess. It burns clean. You can leave it in the building, I guess. It burns like super clean somehow. I don't know if it runs on propane or what, what the deal is, but it's noisy. So you're gonna have to uh, bear with me here on the uh, the noise. I was thinking we should probably hook up one of these lines and do in the holes first. Yeah, so the one that's perforated on the end, this one. That one? So we do that first, get that out of the way. All right. Yeah, here, let me see, I'll swap that line. I think it's just this one. Yeah, because if we... No, it's the whole tip. Oh, there you okay, go. Here we go. Yeah, because I'm thinking if we do inside all the holes first... And I've never done this before, so this is a first for me. But if we do in all the holes first, right? Yeah. Then we can just switch the tip and just blast the outside. Yeah, I feel like it'd be easier to do that anyways. So we got this one out of the water. Swapping them. We're going to let that one sit in the water in case we need it. I think we will. So that, it's definitely a bit more malleable. This one's a bit stiffer. But it's made to spray thick, so I mean... Get some of this. Oh, it's nice and warm. Come on, quit messing around with the warm water. You can go home and take a shower or a bath yeah. later. Turn the jug, man. I like doing it this way. It's more oh. appealing. It doesn't appeal to me. It does to me. All right. So we're gonna start with all the holes first, right? Yep. All right, I got yeah, the light. The... I got the light. Uh, got the perforated one with the holes, and it does have a hole on the end as well, so it's not just spraying sideways. All right, well, let's get going. You're probably gonna need one of those milk crates to stand on. <clears throat> you Although, think? I don't know, you're kind of tall. Be taller. I'm trying. Come on. Come on. Be a man. Push it on. <laughs> there we go. Come on, boy. Where be a man. Uh, probably in these holes up here. Okay. See the front one in the front of the frame? Stick it in there and let her rip. This front one? Yeah. All right. Well, all the way at the end. As far as you can shove it, and then spray and pull back, I guess. Should I, should I let it get going first, do you think? I don't know. I've never used it before. I've never used it, so I'm gonna let it... Nothing. I can hear the air hitting the frame. All right, we got problems. We'll check back. So, we came back to the label because I did miss a step. It says stir or mix well before spraying. I didn't do that. I just took it out of the out of the warm water and threw it straight on the gun. So, we're stirring it up now, and then hopefully that'll uh, that will make it spray. spray. Yeah, because we just we were just holding it on there for like another couple minutes and still just air coming out the end. So, hopefully this does the trick. Figured it out. This tip is what adjusts. So we probably on the other one had it screwed in too much because it's got a taper on the inside and a locking nut, okay? So all the way out like that is is full full of uh full of it. Cuz that taper all the way in cuts it down. So, oh. You want to screw it in a little bit and then lock it down. All right, ready? Uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Grab this. Oh yeah, it's working now. It's working now, see? Oh yeah, so we should get the holes open. Alright, let's see. 
Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Look up in there. Can you see, Bryson? The the way it sprays. Nozzle back towards me. All right. Let me get one of these little lights off. Hold on, I get light issues. Yeah. This thing's cool though, because the mechanic here was just showing me. Take this off. It's a smaller one. All right, ready? All right, here we go. Oh yeah, it's coming out the top now too. Yeah, you want it to drip out everywhere. I'd say do the front, ah. do this front Water. hole again because it's got some. It does have Which some. One? This one? Uh, yeah, but go. Or this go, one. That one, yeah, yeah, yeah. Do that one because um. Still got a little bit of water in there from the pressure washer. Do it one more time. Watch your eyes, though. Yeah. Pretty good. Um, I don't know. <laughs> to be honest with you, I have no idea. That thing looks like it's still full, but that's running out fast. You feel it. Squeeze it. No, that's good. I don't care. We have, I don't know how many left. I'll order more. I'd rather have your truck really protected. Ah, that went straight fucking up through. That went through the top. You're coming out up there. Oh, yeah. They're coming out of there? Yeah. Coming out of that hole. Yeah, that's good. See right there? I want to see if I can get it to come out of there, that front where it's got that rust. Yep, push it up. I gotta push it up and bend it. Yeah, it's coming, it's coming out. Good. Right. Yeah. Hey, you know what's you want you wanna know what's stupid about this whole thing? What? I brought the safety glasses, like a, from you and I. Guess where they are? In the truck. They're in the truck. Of course they are. I'm sure they got some around here. Yeah, let's just look away. I'm using the camera as a vision. Yeah, but I I I Yeah, you gotta let me do that. What? I don't have to let you do anything. I'm yeah. having fun. You're having fun? I want to have fun. I don't know where this is going, but... We did turn the compressor down to like 90. Oh, we're balls deep into that one. I'm gonna do the A-arm.
We're out. What? No, pull the trigger. We did get safety glasses because uh, the overspray gets all over your face. So we took a moment and got some. I, I brought them with us, but we had to climb up there and get them. Highly recommend using glasses, though, or goggles or something. That is a big box tube, huh? Yeah. Don't be scared to go do a little thicker in there. We got- Thicker, I just put so much in there. I don't care, we got plenty, dude. All right, so I've just done a good amount of spraying and I've got it all over me and I gotta, I just wiped these off. Got my dirty shirt here, so. But yeah, got covered and uh. Can you bring the light over? Oh yeah, me? gotta carry the light over for him. Nice quiet now. Yeah, cause the pressure washers off. So, yeah, eyes are definitely a must for this. Um, cause you're gonna get covered in it, it if you're really under it. It doesn't smell like anything though. No, there's no real odor. Um, but this light's awesome. A little handy thing. Um. We also Please. did turn the PSI down because it says on the thing you like want to be between like 40 and 90, I think is what it said. Yeah, so we're sticking at, we're at 90 now when it's spraying, it's at 90. Uh, okay, so we did all the holes, Bryson did all the holes down there. Uh, yeah, so we left and off. we just switched uh, tubes. Tubes. So, one tube, and we went like, we're going crazy thick because I have so much of it, but... Yeah, second tube. Uh, we're on that one right there. Right here. Yep. The body one. Yeah. I'm gonna have to get in there with the other tip as well. That one already got done. Here it is. Oh. I don't think I went this way under this 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 hollow box though. Kind of no way. I don't. I don't think you can. Can you? Oh yeah. Did you do that on the other side? Ah uh, yeah. Well, no, you did because I did the other side. We swapped at the back. Yeah, you got it. Okay. I just want to make sure. I don't know if it'll go. I don't know what it's hitting. I think it's hitting something. It's just hitting the top and bending. <laughs> no, I don't. I'll have to look at it after. So I forgot to mention when I was um, looking online, Bryson and I went to go look at a job. I don't know how many months ago, and um, we looked at a guy's pickup that was there, and he was using the fluid film. So then when I went online, I was gonna get some fluid film. 
I was reading all the reviews and it's, it sounded like a lot of guys that were using fluid film switched over to this wool wax. So then I started watching some videos on it and then I figured I would try this. Um, just because, um, why not? I really don't have a reason why I chose this over the fluid film other than just reviews online. Get a face full. I definitely would not try this without this tip. This fan tip. This this thing's great. Yeah, it really gets everything. I don't know where it went. <laughs> oh, it's in the it's in the top right. It's up there. Okay, so I switched to the long nozzle um, spray strayer. Spray strayer? Oh Straight. my god. Sprayer. We need lunch. I'm yeah. so tired. Um, this is tiring reaching over your head, but it's so well worth it. Straight sprayer. So this strays straight out of the end of it. And I've been going up in here and getting in the rockers. So I blew down the end, and I noticed when I blew down the end, I saw a bunch of dust come out of here, like overspray or whatever. So then I was like, all right, well, this thing's not long enough to reach down the other end. I could drill a hole through here. There's one right there. I could drill a holes and then fill it like they do with that Z-Bart stuff. I don't really want to drill holes in anything, you know. Um, we have holes here. I'm just gonna spray up and let it blast around in there. I cranked the air pressure up to back up to like 120. So it'll get some serious overspray up in this hole or this crack. And then, um, yeah, there's a bunch of them, so. This is such a nice pickup truck that we, we want to keep. I mean, it's mint for 2016, so we're trying to like keep it in good shape. So it doesn't end up like my other ones. My other ones are project trucks. Maybe one of these days we'll get the tool truck done. It just needs a paint job and then put the bed put on it and. I've had a couple body shops look at it and they go, yeah, yeah, it's no problem, it's no problem. And then I never hear from them again. I don't even get a price out of them. I just go, yeah, give me a price, whatever it is. And they go, yeah, 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 yeah. So I don't want to have that same problem with this truck. <laughs> oh, how does that taste? Fucking muffin. Awful. Tastes like chicken. All right, it's a little noisy again. The wash crew's washing another piece of equipment. So. I 
to get from both sides. Yeah, I know, but... I'm going to get in the cracks. Yeah, but you went a little thin right there, too, yeah. I'm getting in the cracks, don't worry. All right, Bryson, show them the tip. So this is the tip that you screw on after um, to do the outside. The only thing we noticed is uh, there is- Makes a big cloud. It makes a big cloud. It doesn't really smell. Doesn't really smell or anything. It's just dusty, so. This is how it's turning out. Yeah, I gotta get in cracks and stuff. But. So I did turn the air down. We were at like 120 when I was blowing it through the rockers. But I just turned, where are we at? We're at 60. You want to go a little less? Nah, this is good. He likes it at 60. I so, like I've never undercoated before. This is our first time undercoating anything. So, I definitely would recommend eye protection and uh, a mask. It, it, at least just a dust mask. Really doesn't dust have any. Mask seems to be fine. A respirator, I think, would be a bit overkill. Yeah, there's like no smell, but who I knows, know, you know, it could be the silent killer. <laughs> Try to see that um, cross member, Don't, get the floor too. Yeah, I know, it's just really hard. These glasses are fogging up. Yeah. You want to switch? These are better. Huh? Get These some, ones are way better. Are you running out? Did you turn the pressure down? No. I think this stuff blows faster. Well, I'm sure this does go faster because you're, it's that, that tip you're caking it on. That's okay. That's why we bought a lot of it, you know? Yep. I wonder. I've been soaking it in water, but now we're going through them too quick. You can tell when he pulls the trigger. The hose reel jump. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that's nice and warm now. We were using the little pan of water earlier, but we're going through them so much now that we're using the regular tip that that water is not warming them enough. Well, not fast enough is what I mean. So that works pretty good. If they're if these guys are washing, you just hold this over the burner. It's pretty clean. I don't know what it burns for fuel, but there's no smoke. The last one he had yeah. was pretty smoky. Must be propane or something. Are you ready? I will say though, this stuff makes a mess. Well, it's not on the ground though. That, that's from the oil from- yeah, Like the gun and everything. Oh yeah. But as far as like in the shop, it's pretty clean, I mean. Oh no, it's not making a mess on the ground. It's like on my face and the gun. Yeah, uh -huh. well, cause you're right up on it. All right. I got the cap in my palm of my hand. That's why this is going goofy. Look it. <laughs> so heavy. All right. All right, and I noticed that with the light on, with the glasses, it's impossible to see where you're spraying. Because of the glare back? The glare. The glare is ridiculous. So I'm just doing this. Just stay away from it and definitely cover up your mouth. Yeah, here, ready? You get a good cover right there. Grab that other bolt over here too, under yeah. the wire.
You spray funny. Why do I spray funny? You pull the trigger like pep, 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 pep. Like, just pull the damn trigger. See? Always oh, tap, tap. Yeah, when I get around the bolt. Tap, tap, tap. Tap, tap. Fucking... Beep, 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 beep. <laughs> it's like, what are you shooting, a gun? Yeah. <laughs> All right. So, oh, oh. The, uh, the loader's on, so the loader's running, so that's what that noise is. Just idled down. Um, so he's doing some now. I just got done uh, spraying a lot of it. it it's mostly done, we just gotta do the back end now. Um, oh, my hair is getting sticky, because when you spray it in there, it mists a little bit. I did have glasses on. I decided that was a better idea. Um, goggles would have been better so that they don't fog up. But, uh, hair's getting sticky from a very sticky. Feel, uh, not greasy, not sticky. You feel greasy. But, uh, yeah, so. I know there's not a lot of light here. Make it a light. So, this is how it's turning out. Pretty good. I gotta respray a little bit right there. But, and then I wanna spray in there a bit. It's really hard to see under here. Even with the little light, you can see he's got the little light uh, like that in his hand. It's really hard to see while you're spraying uh, when you got the glasses on. So I gotta touch up right there and whatnot. But it's a nice glossy dark gray. It goes on real thick. Let's see what he's doing. And you can tell the little jug starting to run out when if you're holding it straight up the spray is uh, not as wide like the area that you're hitting isn't as wide so we just got done doing some more spraying and uh, we're down almost all the jugs here's what it's looking like uh, it does use quite a bit came back and we touched up all where we needed to touch up you know what I noticed? What? When you use the wands, you gotta crank the power up. Yeah. The air, not yeah. power. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, when we just had it on the spray tip, we had it at 60 psi with the wands. We gotta have it at like 90, but we yeah, uh. The spray out of here. Maybe because the stuff that's in there is gummy. Hey, yeah. can you shine that light up in here? Yep. Shine a light on me. Cause um, see up over the tire. We oh, should have yeah. dropped the tire. I highly recommend dropping your tire. But... Man, all that gray, all that dark gray was all uh, like a beige tan color. All that, so... We had everything up here. Alright guys, this is how it came out. You just finish up spraying. I'm just gonna empty out the rest of what He's just emptying out the rest, I guess. Eight. Eight jugs? Yeah, eight of those jugs. I'm not sure how much is in each jug. I'll have to check, but how she turned out. And then of course, ah, if you look up there. Oh, it's hard with the light. It's hard to see. Everything's reflecting. Yeah, here. Oh, that was ten. And then we got all the frame, frame all back there. And then all up in there. You can see you got it in the wheel well. I'm happy with it. It is a pain 
holding that thing uh, above your head. We were trading off. We were switching off doing it because, uh, let me tell you, it's not that heavy, but holding it above and then squeezing it and then you're, you're pulling the... Uh, you're pulling the air hose around. You definitely don't get all of it out of each jug either. Yeah, you definitely don't get all of it out of each jug. We're gonna try to consolidate it all into one jug. I think we're done. I already consolidated what, what we, we could. Oh yeah. It works really good if you heat them up. I was running them under hot water. We we're putting them in a little jug of hot water. And then when that hot water uh, pressure washer over there was running, we were holding them above the heating. Um, but yeah, you definitely don't get 100% of it out of them. But uh, it turned out pretty good. I'm happy with it. What do you think? Time time will tell. This is one of those things where we will have to do an update later. Like a like a one-year update video. Yeah, that would make for a good video. All right, but until then, I'm tired. We're going to put this down, put oil back in it. Then i got to go home and eat food. Get cleaned up because I took a bath. <laughs> yeah, oil bath. <laughs> Okay guys, we got the truck home. I had to ride back without my oily clothes on, but Bryson's pretty happy because Rudy is, Rudy. Uh, just so you know, that's what his girlfriend named his truck, Rudy. So Rudy's been all undercoated. Um, you know, I'm sure somewhere under there, somewhere, there's, there's, spot. there's, there's spot a spot that we guy, missed yeah. because no matter how hard you try, it's like we it, definitely missed this, but and it was really hard to see under there. We yeah, had to keep the had to have black. I still I still feel like you know we we did get a lot though most of it. Oh, we got ninety nine percent of it. Maybe I would say ninety. No, nah, I'd say ninety nine because we went over it a few times. Yeah, we poured the after we cut the camera last time. We poured the extra all into one jug and then we went all back over. Yeah, it. we discovered we had some extra. Um, you just have to reheat it up again because it what happens is it cools down and then it doesn't like to But it, it does say you're just supposed to use at a room temperature, but it works a lot better when it was warm Yeah, I thought it worked a lot better yeah. But I guess the only thing that's left now is uh, yeah, yes. I threw out the rest We used all eight jugs All eight jugs we used I'm not sure how big the jugs were, maybe like, seemed like a bit over a quart, quart maybe? Yeah, maybe, but Something. I guess time will tell yeah, we'll do we'll do like a check back in and then yeah, kind of maybe check. yeah next year we'll December, do an update. December what thirteenth today? December thirteenth, yeah. Yep. So anyways, on that one, guys. On that one, I don't even know what I was gonna say. I I'm so tired. Losing it, man. I'm you losing had it. To eat today. Yeah, I haven't had anything to eat today, and just staring up like this all day, my neck is killing me. Um, I guess what I was trying to say is goodbye. Thank you.